Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I am going to show you how to connect up your PlayStation 5 DualSense controller to your Steam Deck. It's pretty simple to be fair, you know, we're going to connect via Bluetooth and I guess you could use a USB-C cable to USB-C and connect it wired as well, but Bluetooth is the preferred option. So first of all, you want to press the Steam button, go to Settings, go down to Bluetooth, Select show all devices because it may or may not appear if you don't select that. And now we need to put this into pairing mode. Let me move my phone back a bit. To do that, you press the PlayStation button and the option button at the same time. And then the lights will start flashing for a few seconds. Then let go when they start flashing. They're flashing now. The controller has now appeared. And I'll put it over here. You'll see that the light goes solid as soon as I select that. Or, you know it disappears in this case but the lights gone solid there and now as you can see I can move up and down so if you go to if you want to remove the controller by the way just go to the controller even if it's not paired you can just use your steam controls press X or if it's not you know on just go to forget device disconnect will just disconnect it turn basically turn the controller off forget it will remove it entirely especially if you're having some conflict issues with other devices next okay controller you can go to dual sense squad controller you can enable game rumble you can use the nintendo switch layer which flips the x and the circle button and the square and the triangle if you want that uh, for example and uh, you can do you know, tests as well we don't need to do that you can calibrate where if you have any problems with the joysticks just click on it you can check them out and if you press triangle you can then move the joystick to see if you do need a dead zone same with the gyroscope i'm tilting it as you can see it's working and same with haptics feel free to modify the color as well the led now now that you've done that to play a game it's pretty simple what you need to bear in mind is not all games will, some games I should say, will require a bit more effort. So for example, if I go to Half-Life Episode 2, which I already tested earlier, I click here, you press the controller button. Again, I'm just controlling it using the PlayStation controller, but you can obviously still use the Steam Deck controls. And here, there's an official layout, so if, I would, if there's a recommended tab, I would always recommend checking out the recommended tab. There's an official layout for it. Let me focus in. And that works great. So if it's an official layout, check that out. If not, for a game like, because the on-screen you know, buttons you know, in the user interface change as well for the PlayStation controller and for Xbox. I'll have a separate video covering the Xbox you know, sync method as well. But I know if we're going to Call of Duty Black Ops, that doesn't have the best controller compatibility out of the box you go to the configuration you go to current layout there's no recommended so you can check out a template but i recommend you go to a community layout, the community layers tab and select one of them obviously look at the description but something like gamepad with game controls this works you know really well and then there's you know ones that say for ps5 but like these are for this game and this controller you can see the logo right there if you scroll down there they're all for this controller sometimes if let's say you don't have the controller connecting it's just a steam deck they'll have a different controller icon and that might not be the optimized one so you just click it you'll download it if it needs to be downloaded that's the configuration and you can click any of the keys like i just did or you can if i go back you can go to again you can either view layout go to edit layout here and you could change this up it doesn't have to be the a button you can make it whatever you want feel free to obviously experiment and do what you want to with that and you can put gyro behavior this game never had gyro support so there's no point in me really adding it if i want the more authentic experience but you can add it you can add right trackpad behavior as well and that could be a mouse it could be a joystick or a single button as well and that's it obviously you can invert the joystick y axis if you really want to so that's how you connect up the controller and now you would just click play and use it so in the case of call of duty black ops this is a good example with this i find that the game controller like a ps4 is not enough unless you was to modify the layout to fully navigate the menus 
because on the main menu of Black Ops, and there'll be other games like this, especially slightly older, I was unable to, with just the, the PS4 controller, by using one of the default, you know, not the default, one of the community layouts without modifying it, I was unable to use the D-pad to navigate the menus. So what did I do? I've got, you know, a configuration set up that works well with the Steam Deck because it's got a few more controls. I use the trackpad, you know, to be able to navigate the menu. So you may have to jump back and forth between the controllers or modify the community layout. Or if you've used one of the built-in layouts, you might need to modify that. That is something to bear in mind. It is a case-by-case -case basis. And if you have any issues with a particular game, feel free to post on our Discord group over 9,000 members. Somebody is bound to have run in, the same, run in on the same problem and fixed it as well. We'll post in the comments and we'll see what we can do in terms of getting you some sort of configuration that works for that game. You never know, I might have you know, played that game myself like Black Ops. I know the issue with it and I might be able to assist. So that's it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.